All right, let's just look at your point of view from today, because you did have a lot of deaths. Um, from what I saw, it's mostly from the red emblems. I mean, there's really nothing you can do about that. It's like, I know you have like around just under 2000 PVP damage reduction points, but you know, against the whales, you know, I'd expect their damage to be at least like minimum, like 5,000 points. But even though you have 2000 points, they're still going to deal that extra 40% damage to you. Uh, there's pretty much no solution for that other than to like you know spend money on the game which is kind of pointless um they are like i'm gonna see so fatty has his aoe's here omphi has their aoe's here uh you have your aoe's in the middle as well and then everybody else i don't know where the rest of the aoe's are putting their stuff i mean because the points already wiped mostly So here you can see this, this is why, you know, I told you in that first game on map one against the Chinese guild. Because when they're going to walk through your AoEs, right, it's going to auto target onto you. So this, this Promochi guy, right, his game auto targeted to you right here. So he's going to jump onto you. That's why you have your, that's why I put your smoky card, your smoky skill right here. So you break that targeting. But you know, he just goes straight in. He's actually smacking you first. So you're getting hit by both the Sack Pally and this guy. And you know, you're just gonna end up dying. Um also I mean it's not right here, but like you know, mainly this whole game, right? They're switching between moon and sun as a whole stack. And then they just have one party deal with uh star, which is no problem for them. Um but every time they they um rotate in from the west, right? There are times where you stay too long on the front and you didn't move back. Like you're supposed to drop your AOE and move back. So opposite of what you're supposed to be doing when we're pushing into the enemy, where you you know you drop your AOE and then you push up. Now when they're pushing onto us, especially like when like we have less numbers than they do, you know you're supposed to AOE and then move back. So you're not you know standing on the front line to where they're gonna you know they have their people diving on the front. If you're on the front, you're going to end up dying like you did this game. I think here, I'm not sure if it's right here. So you can see, you're pushing forward again when they're pushing. They've already, like they're, they already wiped our front line, right? And I think, hold on, I think a lot of people already respawned. I don't know, they have, we have like nobody up on the front. So it's either they respawn or because I'm looking here, I'm not sure if you lowered your character count, but I just don't see where the people on the front line went. You can see like Fatty was on the front and then now he he slowly moved back. I mean that's kind of the same thing that you and everybody else right here is supposed to kind of be doing. You guys are just lingering in that midsection and just dying. There's a statue skill, I'm not sure if that was ours or theirs. So for this sack pally, right, you don't got to keep spam. There's no point of you spamming SG and all that on him. Just put a grab and quag and then, I mean, you don't even have to put grab. You can just napalm Vulcan and then quag. Just put quags on us. That's it. You don't need to keep focusing your skill specifically on him. Because you can see, like, he's not even really, like, he's in our stack and he's not really killing people. So he's not, like, a huge threat. Same thing with that fake, fake well paladin from like three weeks ago you can see here they're pushing in again and you're lingering on the front and you needed to move back to the stack and this one like you can um since they don't they haven't fixed i don't know how long it's going to take them to fix the party voice chat but you know we, we can't even use the chat room like we did before so i can't tell you to just respawn right here you can see like you're already kind of like their stack is starting to kind of move on top of you and it's going to be dangerous for me to walk up and try to res you here so you need to you know until they fix the party chat you're going to have to rotate your camera and you're going to have to look at you know the enemy's positioning relative to ours you can see that you know their front line they have some people on the front line just standing on top of you that's already a dangerous position for me to walk up and just res you so you just need to respawn right here 
instead of you know this you sitting there waiting and i actually have to type to tell you to respawn because you know it's just too far up um i think you know just look at my point of view later when i upload my video because you're gonna see like you're dead right here and then they're starting to push down right here and i can't just walk up and res you without dying You just need to know like when they're the front line is already on top of your body and you kind of see our our stack is a little further back you just have to respawn because it, it takes a while for me to type all of this stuff out that's why like even in well yes the not yesterday but on sunday right i had to tell you to unmute because i just can't like keep typing you instructions because it just takes too long And you're here just trying to get on the point to stop them unfortunately we just don't have the numbers and then they just rotate back to moon you see there's that slack pally on the stock again i mean you can also just use your you know you should be using your safety walls because i know you don't you don't really press it that often but you might as well just like every time this is off cooldown just press it even if you're not going to stand on it you can see like once you switch targets to you if there's a safety wall nearby you could try to you know try to stand on it in time and hopefully you'll live you know if you are able to get on the safety wall then you can cast um hide and then he's gonna um pretty much auto target onto somebody else um i don't know why like we have people standing here at moon when they just locked it and you can obviously tell like the play is to go to sun right after but we have a lot of people like moon's just standing here for some reason we should have rotated over to hit them from the flank and try to stop them from taking sun uh but here like this is why you don't go straight in the middle because like you know that's where the other guilds are typically going to take to rotate over you go in the middle, you're pretty much going to run into their whole stack right here. And you're just going to die. If you went from the north side, you know, you don't even have to smoke. You could have just gone in from the north side and you're at least on the point. You know, once you're inside, then you can smoke. But, you know, if you take the middle like that, you're just going to run into their stack and just die. So this one, your quags. Because they have to push into the point, right? Your quags, you know, put them on the outside of this circle. Not the outside, but like towards the outer edge of the circle. Because they have to go inside the point to contest it. So you already know where they're going to want to stand, right? Their AoEs should be... At least put the quags here. You can try to precast some AoEs up here. But you can see they kind of just walk straight through all of the AoEs. So it's better, like, you should just place them inside. Because, you know, they need to go inside to be able to contest the point. Honestly, I don't know if, let me see if the, how many wizards. We have quags, we have, I guess some of those grabs are going right here, set it all here. I mean, honestly, even if we had AOEs here, you could easily have just gone around. Like you can, like, you know that last 40v40 video I, I posted, right? Um, the enemy, they're holding that east side gate. And I can see like the people I was with, they weren't even pushing in. They weren't even trying to push in. So I just said, fuck it. I went around. I went through the south side and I just went on the point. The well, same thing here. Like even though if we had like AOEs and shit set up, they would have just, if they were smart enough, they could have easily just gone through north and south and just walked past all of that precast. But here, you know, like even though, so we, I did see people casting AOEs. We don't have like, uh, we have quagmires and whatnot, but they literally just walk straight through. So here, like, you did reposition, reposition, you moved back. Uh, let me see, I don't know what killed you here. I, 
mean, it could have, it might be the sharpshoot. I can't really see the person's name. And then, like, you can see, like, right here, they cap the moon, and then they're going straight back to the sun. And we're just, like, dicking around right here for some reason. Uh, I mean, okay, so right here, if you look at my point of view at this, like, at this timestamp. So Fatty just died. Um, he, he was trying to respawn back, and he got picked off by that Mercury guy up here. And so he can't see the timers. Um, you know, I can't even use my mic because my mic wasn't working this game. But nobody in Moon is saying to go to Sun because, like, they just locked Moon, right? And you can see Sun is takeable. They're obviously just gonna go back to Sun. But the whole stack at Moon is just sitting here, wasting, wasting their time, doing nothing. So this we could have contested, but we didn't. Fatty can't make the call because he just died. And so he doesn't have vision on this right here. Unfortunately, people just don't know, like, when the point's locked to just go to the other points. They still need people to tell them, but I mean, we should have definitely have gone to Sun right here. At least hit them from the back and try to stop them from locking Sun. And then, you know, same thing they've been doing the whole game, just rotate back to Moon. Uh, statue skill, it's mainly your deaths right here are from, um, it's from both the Sack Pally and then this, uh, this assassin that's running uh, Meteor Assault. I had to tell you right here to like you shouldn't like when I res you you shouldn't be dying right away right that's also why you have your hide you have your safety wall you need to just reposition or whatever do what you need to do to just not die is the main thing that you can see like they were trying to capture the point and the whole purpose of me, you know, resing people, resing you, is so we get those numbers back on the point to try to stop them, either to stop it or to retake the point. I'm not sure if we lose it here. As you can see, we can't see the thing. I think, yeah. Okay, now we lock it. I mean, okay, so for Sack Pallies, you might as well um, just spam your Napalm Vulcan onto them so they get cursed. Don't worry about trying to put... Don't, don't worry about trying to put a Grav or such a Storm Gust. Just um, curse them. And then we'll get to the part when Mercury pretty much just sits on the flank. And just starts smacking people. I think it should be the next, next, um, their next rotation. No, actually, it's right here. You can see like Mercury's right here, just standing, kind of just shooting at our back line. I think the first skill you ended up casting was uh, Quagmire. No reason to cast Quagmire right there. It's either the SG, see if he's wearing Mark card. If he is, then um, Gravity Field. You see, you cast Quagmire, that's not going to do shit to him. He just end up dying. I mean, I'm not, I didn't even see a tick. There's supposed to be a yellow tick, I'm not sure. Because you're supposed to have the Quagmire core, which is supposed to deal like 1% max HP damage. They put that there because if they're going to stay on the Quagmire, it has a chance to proc your CC card, but... I mean, I'm not sure that 434 was... Your Quagmire proc, or if that's something else. But, I mean, you can see he was just standing there, and there's no, there's I didn't see any Quagmire tick. This one, I'm not sure if that was from. Okay, that one's from the Meteor Assault guy. I mean, if you had your safety walls, that would have prevented you from dying. Um, here, if you're in like you, so you repositioned, but you went kind of this way, and that's where they have like at least three attackers. You should have kind of gone back towards the stack over there on the west side.
I think after this we're gonna... I'm not sure if... No, I think we're gonna wipe here. Okay, I think the call was to go to Owl Baron here. I mean, it's kind of like the same with every other, every other forty v forty match. So we give up the points to go Owl Baron, pretty much giving them the points. Uh, you can see like we don't really kill Owl Baron that fast. Um, I told you focused East because like. The what you call it, the other teams like Fatty assigned teams right here to cover the side, but they're not doing it. And you, you can see they're pushing through. I need you to cast SG right here because they're actually gonna frozen world on this side right right here. So they push in from this east side. Most of their red emblems were on this east side too. That's why I told you to focus east. And so, you know, they push into us. They already, you know, they lock all the points. They push into us. We did most of the, we did like 50% damage to Owl Baron for them. And so, you know, like pretty much all the other games, like it's the same thing. Like we do most of the damage, we wipe. They get free, free hits on the Baron because they just wiped us. And that's an easy cleanup for them. And not only that, they had all of, all of the points too. So like, it's pretty much GG from right there. Um, okay, so here, like, when you get on the point, don't just stay out in the open like this. That's why you have your hide. If you, you know, if you hit, you might have... I don't... I think they rotated over. No, but if you hit, you know, that's one extra body on the point to try to help cap. But I think everybody that rotated here just ended up dying anyways. I mean, that's pretty much GG. So, I mean, a lot of your deaths this game could have been avoided if you just, um, you know, if you used your smoky card or if you used your safety wall. Or just repositioning properly when they're doing a big push onto us, you know. Those definitely, if you, you know, if you did a better job with those three things, probably you only died. I mean, I'm also resing you out of. Like, compared to all the other people, I'm resing you the most. So, like, you are dying more because, you, you know, you get res, you just die. Um, you know, if that wasn't the case, maybe, you know, you'd only have, like, 18 deaths or 16 or whatever. Uh, I don't know anything about the, ne the, the next guild on Thursday. But, I mean, same thing. Just... Focus on those three things that you need to do better for next game, and then hopefully you won't have as many deaths. We'll see.